Hi guys, welcome back to Nathan's Golf. Today I'm going to be doing a course review. Rather than doing a course vlog, I'm going to be doing a course review today at Whitsand Bay. A little information on Whitsand Bay. Whitsand Bay is 5,517 yards off the yellow tees. If you're an 18 handicapper, that is probably what you're going to be playing off. And it's a 70 par course. So Whitsand Bay is located in the United Kingdom in Cornwall on the south coast in between Plymouth and Loo. Just above Port Winkle you'll find the golf course on the cliff tops right here. As you can see it's right on the cliffs there. The course is quite easy to find and the sat nav takes you straight there. So all you need to do is pop in Whitsand Bay and it'll take you right here. So as you can tell I'm not at the course. I played there yesterday so further ado, let's skip over and have a little look at Whitsand Bay. So that was me at Whitsand Bay. Now how I want to do this course with you is I want to mark it in 10 different subjects. I want to have number one as parking and find the course, two the pro shop, three practicing facilities, four the bunkers, five the greens, six course conditions, seven the online reviews and my opinion, eight the scenery, nine memberships and overall value, and then 10 their website and social media blades. So out of these reviews, they'll be all marked out of three, giving me an overall score out of 30, which I'll divide into three to give you an out of 10. Number one, the parking and find the course. Find the course is quite easy. You pull it into your sat nav and it takes you straight there down to the bottom of Port Winkle, quite easy. Uh, parking was a bit difficult. Um, you literally turn up into this little car park. I mean, if you're going in a midday week, you'll be all right. Um, but at the weekend, it was quite busy. We had to kind of double up parking. So you double two up and you had a little play through and then double up the other side. So it was quite hard. So I definitely recommend turning up a little bit earlier. Um, I'd probably mark that down a little bit. So two out of three. So number two, the pro shop. The pro shop had everything in it. It had tees, golf balls, uh, clothing and the pro behind the bar was really helpful uh, told us how it was today like how it'd be drying up and how the course would play so I would mark that three out of three very helpful good clubhouse number three is the practicing facilities and um, 
when you turn up to Whitsand Bay, they've got a putting green that is very similar to the greens on the course. Um, the only thing is they don't have a driving range. They do have a little hitting bit at the top of the course, at the top, past the first hole, right at the top, but you, you wouldn't go there. It was too, it's too far away. Um, so the only thing I could really say was it'd be quite good to get like a hitting net there. Um, so for that, I would just mark them down to two rather than three. If they had a hitting net, it would be three, but two out of three. So number four, the bunkers. The bunkers have always been raked and all of them played really nicely. They're all really fluffy. And for January, when you normally get like concrete bunkers, they weren't anything like that. They were like pretty much like summer bunkers and they played really well. Um, ground staff, amazing there. Number five would be the greens. The greens ran really well. Um, they were in perfect condition. Again, January, a lot of rain in Britain at the minute and they were in really good conditions. There were a few little spots that you could see that the rain was coming down, but there was nothing they could do with that. So I would mark that three out of three. Number six, oh, running out of fingers, is the course condition. Um, the course condition was great. Um, again, I'll go back to, we are playing in January with a lot of rain. It's cold, it's boggy. Um, Whitsand Bay were quite lucky that on the coast. Um, so, and, the, and obviously how the groundskeepers have worked. Um, they had no temporary tees, no temporary greens, and it was all in mint condition. Um, best course I've ever played in January, for sure. Um, so three out of three. If I could give four, it would be a four, but three out of three. Number seven, online reviews and my opinion. So. Online reviews were quite good, um, all about 4.5 out of 5 or 5 out of 5. They always have a really good following and everyone loves the course. Uh, my personal opinion was the course played really well. Um, there was nothing I could doubt with the course and it is probably now my favourite course in Cornwall. So 3 out of 3, easy. Number 8. Can't count. Number eight is the scenery. It's a beautiful course up at Whitsand Bay. Looking down on Port Winkle, every hole had a different kind of view. So as you walk up the first, you look back and you could just see the little, uh, I guess it's a castle, kind of manor house castle. You look back at that. Then you get to the first and you kind of cut back across and you look across at the sea. Every hole had a different bit of scenery. Even though it was the same sort of bit, it was a different view on it. And it was very nice on the eye and yeah, easy, strong three out of three. So number nine would be the value and membership prices at Whitsand Bay. Now I thought after playing it, I could never afford this course. It's too good. It's too expensive, but no, it's only 550 pound, which is what? 40 maths, maths. I don't know. 45, 50 pound and a month which is nothing. I pay that at the minute at Elford Lee. Um, I love Elford Lee, I'm not gonna, never gonna leave there, but yeah. Um, and then to play there, I played 22 pound, which is so cheap. Um, in the summer, you're looking at more prices of 25 pound in the week and 30 pound um, for a weekend, but Twilight's only 15 pound. So it's very cheap to play on a very good course. Um, I'd be expecting to pay a lot more and I do pay a lot more on courses that aren't as good. So three out of three. Number 10, their website and social media. So their website is really well laid out. Um, you could find anything on there, the, um, the green rates, um, information about the course, um, and their social media, they're very active on at the minute. So on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything. They are very active and they're obviously shouting out about their course and rightly so. They're doing really well. Three out of three. So my overall summary on Whitsand Bay and my review came to 28 out of 30, which creates to 9.3 out of 10, which is right up there. Um, 
the only things I could really say that would get it 10 out of 10, which it, oh, I really just want to give it 10 out of 10, but this is the way. So um, the only things they could really do would have been improve the parking, but there's no really anywhere to go. There was a little bit up to the right, well, to the left, but I don't think that's their place. But the parking was quite difficult, but I don't think they can improve that. Um, and the practice facilities, just by putting a net there, would have probably made it a bit more easier for me, rather than going to the first tee and being stiff, and like trying to do some practice swings with two clubs. And it'd be nice just to have 10 balls in a net. Um, that's the only places they could improve. It's amazing out there. And the scenery is second to none. It's prob it, No, it is my favorite course in Cornwall at the minute. Um, memberships dirt cheap um, obviously they've I think they've had something go on with it was owned by the um, the, the castle where the manor house or whatever it is then it's gone towards a trust or or something like that I mean if you go down and ask they'll, they'll talk to you about it they did talk to me about it but in there out so that's my course review um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different here and not do a vlog as such, which everyone does. Just do a review straight to the point how an 18 handicapper would review a course. And that's how I'd re review Whitsand Bay. Um, end of the day, will I be back? 100%. It's a great course. Um, I'll be back next Wednesday with another video. And every month I'll try to get another review out for you guys, if not more. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.